Jimmy Comline was an American character actor who appeared in almost 150 films in his 32-year career. career. Conline was born in Camden, New Jersey in 1884, and his acting career started out in Vaudeville, where he and his first wife Myrtle Glass played the Keith Ilby Orpheum Circuit's Builders, Conline and Glass, a song and dance team. They also starred together in two short films, Sharps and Flats and Zip, Boom, Bang. For Vitaphone, Conline made another comedy short without glass in 1930, but his film career started for good in 1933 and for the next 27 years. With the single exception of 1951, every year saw the release of at least one film in which Conline appeared at the height of his career, often more than a dozen of them. In the 1940s, Conline was a part of Preston Sturge's unofficial stock company of character actors, appearing in nine films written and directed by Sturges. His roles in Sturge's films were often sizable and often came with good billing. One of his best performances came in Sturge's The Sin of Harold Diddlebock in 1946, when he played Wormy. The race tracked out who convinces Harold Lloyd to have his first drink, setting off the events of the film. The loyalty between Sturge's and Conline ran both ways, and when the former golden boy of Hollywood fell on hard times, Conline remained a friend, stayed in contact, and helped out in any way he could. Conline did not make many television appearances, but he did have a regular role on Duffy's Tavern, a syndicated series from 1954. He made his final film in 1959, when he played a habitual criminal in Anatomy of a Murder. Jimmy Conline died in Encino, California on May 7, 1962 at the age of 77. Selected Filmography